Trump becomes bounty hunter overnight and issues direct threat to hundreds, we will find you. President Trump spoke to a large group of police officers at Suffolk Community College on Friday. His comments during the speech made headlines when he discussed illegal immigration as well as police use of force. Before the group of officers, he made the following comments. I have a simple message for every gang member and criminal alien that are threatening so violently our people, we will find you. We will arrest you. We will jail you. And we will deport you. Illegal immigration reform has been an important component of his administration's policy work and the president reiterated this during his speech where he denounced transnational gang crime associated to MS-13. He specifically targeted the immigration policies in Long Island that led to several high-profile murders. A total of 17 people were murdered on the island due to the crimes of MS-13 gang members. In reference to MS-13 members, the president called them animals and noted they have transformed peaceful parks and beautiful, quiet neighborhoods into blood-stained killing fields. You say what happened to the old days where people came into this country, they worked and they worked and they worked and they had families and they paid taxes and they did all sorts of things, and their families got stronger and they were closely knit. Failure to enforce our immigration laws had predictable results. Drugs, gangs and violence thought. President Trump promised that individuals' rights to keep and bear arms were safe and not at threat and furthermore that he would use monetary and fiscal policy to ensure that foreign countries took back the illegal aliens that criminally and unlawfully entered our country. He is already fulfilling this promise he made. Over the last six weeks, officers with the Immigration and Customs Enforcement have been working with their partners to arrest approximately 1,400 illegal criminal aliens. Moreover, they have seized 200 firearms from criminal illegal aliens as well as about 600 pounds of various illegal drugs. Because of the crackdown on illegal immigration the president has noted he will be hiring 10,000 more ICE agents to aid in this fight. Which in itself will be a jobs creator for our country. As well as placing more immigration judges in positions of power. The president has insisted that his work to combat illegal immigration is the largest crackdown our country has ever seen. President Trump said. When you see these thugs being thrown into the back of a paddy wagon, you just see them thrown in, rough, I said, please don TB too nice. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you re-protecting their head, you know, the way you put their hand over. Like, Don T hit their head and Davey just killed somebody. Don T hit their head. I said you can take the hand away, okay question mark. Thanks to the president's work illegal immigrant deportation has consistently decreased since his inauguration. Approximately 13,914 arrests have taken place in just June. This does not take into consideration all the other months since he was sworn into office. During President Obama's presidency. That number was closer to 9,134 on a monthly basis. As a result of this latest crackdown though, 610,000 cases have been backlogged creating additional work for the agency and their employees. The extra burden to immigration courts has created another backlog of deportation. Because there are so many cases to take care of. USA Today reported. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has dispatched 25 more immigration judges to detention centers along the southwest border with Mexico and wants to add more. The Justice Department's goal is to hire 50 immigration judges this year and 75 in the following year. The American Mirror reported the following. Trump also discussed his promised border wall with Mexico to stem illegal immigration, human trafficking, and drug smuggling. Trump said $1.6 billion has already been approved for phase one. We're going to secure our border against illegal entry and we will build the wall, Trump said, describing the project as a vital tool for ending the humanitarian crisis. The president closed his remarks with gratitude for the law enforcement officers working to keep Americans safe. We will defend our country, protect our communities, and put the safety of the American people first. It has called America first. It has called make America great again. Have you heard that expression? You are really special, special Americans, 
and thank you in particular to the great police, sheriffs, and ICE officers, comma, he said. You do a spectacular job, the country loves you and the country respects you. Dot. Ever since he won the election there has been a new sheriff in town and that sheriff is President Trump and he is kicking out everyone who is a criminal who came here illegally. Our streets will be safer our neighborhoods will be better and people will be able to sleep at night. All thanks to President Trump and the work of the Attorney General's office as well as the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency and their employees. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.